Hello, my name is Victor. I'm the Community Engagement Officer at the Prophet Museum and I'm standing in the museum's current exhibit, Painting Picnic with Prudence Hewer. It's a fascinating exhibit and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Prudence Hewer's style. I think the first thing you'll notice from her wonderful paintings is she's definitely heavily influenced by the Impressionist painters of France of the late 18th and 19th century. The Impressionists were all about painting in the moment, capturing that moment in time, capturing the light, capturing the color, and largely they painted outdoors, which was quite a novelty for artists of that time, who often created most of their works from sketches in their studios. You see in Brunus's work the use of color and form, particularly this painting of the barn, where she's taken a pastoral scene, a barn, fields, the river, and stylize them to the point where it's reduced to shapes and color. Very much in the style of her contemporaries in the group of seven, heavily influenced by A.Y. Jackson, who was her mentor. In this painting, for anyone who knows the work of Lauren Harris, you can certainly see his style incorporated into her work. Likewise, in the painting called The Point, Maitland, Ontario, you see her use of color, where the forms, the shapes themselves, are heavily accentuated by the use of contrasting colors, purple and yellow, blue and orange, and some elements green. But it really reinforces those individual parts of that scene. Furthermore, this painting called Cardinal depicts the Great Elevator Canada starching cardinal. Again, she is taking a landscape, she is reducing it to its basic shapes, and highlighting the individual shapes through the use of color. The black piles of coal, the yellow of the grain elevators, the pink and blue of the buildings, and the green of the islands. She definitely used certain colors in her palette. Blues, greens, pinks, and browns were her, her main colors that she did incorporate into her work. And you can certainly see how she was considered one of the greatest female painters of her time, as was said by A.Y. Jackson many years ago.